Let me give you a tour of my 2002 Sunlight Camper. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose, and I bought this 2002 Sunlight Camper, which was in terrible, terrible condition. And I've been renovating it for the past, like, it feels like forever, but it's been months. So I'm finally at a point where we're so close to being done, and I'll show you or tell you all the things that we've done and give you a tour of the completed camper. Before that, though, there are a couple of little things that we need to do that I'll show you. First, we have to still test the water, put in the floor and put in the bed. So we're gonna do all that and then I'm gonna give you a completed tour and then we can finally leave here and head west. We have made tremendous progress in the last couple weeks. We're all pretty tired of this renovation and I just wanted to show you the completed thing which is why I skipped last week's upload because I wanted to just give you the full tour of it being done and it turned out really really cute actually. The kitchen is adorable. It's my favorite kitchen I've ever had. I've had help through the finishing touches of this process. First things first, we're filling up the tank. It was leaking. We discovered it's mostly just from the tube that is going in from where the hose is going. So we're filling up this tank. We don't actually have an instruction manual for this, so we're just guessing. This is leaking. It's sturdy back here. It still needs to be cleaned, but the tank is filling. This is the water pump here. We're going to test that out. It just turned electricity on, so we need to flush this out several times. Moment of truth, we're going to turn on the water pump now that we have the water filled up and see if it works. All right, so the water pump is on. <laughs> oh, look at that. Let's make sure that it's not leaking down here or anything. There is a lot. We just needed to tighten it. I, I replaced the um, faucet, but I didn't tighten it up enough. So it just needed to be retightened and it's fine now. The leaves are almost falling all the way down, so that means we have to go, and we're so close to going. So there's one thing I have to do before I leave, which is get in alignment on my truck, and that's what I've been waiting on. In my last video, I was talking about selling my Jeep, and I had it on an auction on eBay, and it went for a week, and I got like several different bids, and the winning bidder that won it completely didn't respond to me, and then a couple days later, they canceled, and I was really mad about that because this is now affecting when we're allowed to leave, because I really need to get Yuki sold. And that was just really annoying and just kind of low for someone to do. Don't bid on something that you don't intend to buy because that really just sucks for the person selling it. And I'm, you guys know, I'm so over the whole rigmarole of selling and buying vehicles and all this stuff. I'm, it's just like, it's completely done my head in a million times. Now I have to try and sell Yuki again. <laughs> if you want to buy her, she is for sale. Let me show you this floor. So this is, finished product. I also got this at like a craft store. I thought it was cute. Put laptops and stuff in there. I'm gonna give you guys a tour, but this is how the floor turned out. Very, very pleased with that. Everything has finally come together. Before we completely move into the camper, I wanted to take the back seats out of my truck because as I've, I've talked about before, payload capacity, and I'm not sure where we're at with it, but we're getting to the limit of it. So I think taking any weight out of anywhere is beneficial. You have to be very careful with these types of setups first aid kit here. So I'm just getting the stuff out of the back seat so we can take these seats out. Got the oil change. It shook forever, but everything was very thorough, so everything is done there. This truck is in tip-top shape now. We're going, we went to Walmart to get the storage containers and now we're going into the Amish store to get the last bits of food to stock up on. Yeah. Here in the Amish store, I don't want to film too much because you're not supposed to. I'll show you what we get. Got to stock up. Got a huge haul here and then these are the things we got from Walmart. Hopefully those will fit in the back of the truck to store in more clothes and things. 
I'm gonna put this back onto the truck. Got these lined up right here to help with centering it because it has to be exact. We got this to fit in perfectly. Look at that organization. Lots of stuff to put back here, clothes and things. We got it on perfect. We're gonna try and actually take these legs off before we leave because they stick out quite a bit and we're not gonna be taking this on and off. This truck is kind of like my camper van. So we're securing it really tight, as tight and best as possible. Look at Yuki back there. So I'm gonna start filling things and organizing. There's just a lot to do. And um, yeah, we're trying to leave tomorrow. I got Happy Jack uh, tie downs and then I got Torque Lift um, frame mounts. Happy Jack aren't exactly compatible with the torque lift so we have to get chains for an extension okay <laughs> i feel like these are things that you just don't know until you get into things like this there's so many things that you need to figure out Finally the time to look at my new home, my 2002 Sunlight Camper. It took about three months to fix this thing up. As you guys know, it is a huge challenge. Now I'm gonna show you the truck combo. We're gonna take the pulls off. Let's finally look at the finished result of uh, my truck camper. Let's start with the outside and the truck. We have the Happy Jack tie downs. That is as solid as you're gonna get, but also it gives the camper some flex because with these campers, it's very important that they have the ability to flex when you're driving them. In here, we have our propane. This is 20 pound propane. We got brand new. We also installed a gauge on it so we know how much propane we're looking at. And over here, we have our connection to electricity. We had to rig this up. This is just for filling up the water. Back in here is our storage closet because we need a lot of storage. So I have a lot of things. We took out the back seats and put in these three containers from Walmart. We also tied them down. I also have some leveling blocks and then I just kind of put this rope up for looks cute. We're also gonna hook up this backup camera kit. I didn't show this process, but we put on tow mirrors. So we put on new mirrors and these one works so much better than my other ones. They have defogging and they show the whole backside. Also, they show the back tire. And then we have our window right there in the camper. Before I show you the inside, I wanna show you our solar setup, which is on top of the camper. I'm not taking credit for setting up the solar because I did not at all. Uh, the solar and electricity stuff was very confusing to me. I had help putting electricity in and also help with the solar and testing the propane and stuff like that. Some of the stuff I definitely had help with, so I don't want you guys to think that I did all of this on my own because I did not. I had a lot of help, which I'm very, very grateful for. So I'm gonna show you the system though of what we decided on and what worked best for this camper because we want it to be completely off grid. So it got a little complicated because there's a 12 volt battery in here, but there's nothing really powered 12 volt except, except for the lights, but those didn't even work. So we rigged it up a different way. It's kind of a little janky, but it works perfect. So as you saw over there, we have the plug-in and what we're doing, we're just plugging that plug-in into a Jackery battery, which I showed you in I think the last video. And we have the Jackery actually plugged into the solar. So let me show you the wiring and what goes up to the solar so we can be completely off grid. Now we cannot use our fridge, unfortunately, because that takes way too much power. We might eventually have to get, you know, a new fridge, but for now we're just gonna use it as storage, like a cooler we can still put ice in it and stuff and if we do stay at rv parks we can still plug it in and the fridge will work now Our if you look shop. on top here we installed three different solar panels and it looks a little bit messy maybe from the top but i assure you it's very well secured 3m 
taped down and then we also sealant that was recommended for actually solar panels and these solar panels are very thin so they're not going anywhere and then we drilled a hole in for the wires hooked hooked all the wires up properly and then ran it down into the compartment where the jackery battery is let me show you the inside now first i'm going to show you where the solar comes in and then i'm going to show you the full tour of the actual hop now watch step we're going to be taking this off so we will have to be pulling ourselves up in but there is a little step so come on in come on in so this is where the solar comes in from the top these wires come down and then we have this tube and this is able to come up and down with the roof which is really nice then we have these secured and it comes all the way down into our power compartment down here which we we're able to fit the jackery battery in from opening up the seat so let's have a look we had to get some adapters and such and plug that in you can see right here well you can't see it charging because it's already at 100 percent but when it's not at 100 it will um, show you how much we're pulling in from the sun. We're only using 17 watts because all I have on right now are the lights. And to turn it on and off, we just push that and that will turn off all the electricity. In this drawer is just like vacuum and stuff. Okie dokie, I'm gonna switch cameras here because it's easier with this camera to see everything. Let's start with the kitchen, okay? It's finally being done, feels a bit surreal and that I'm actually gonna be leaving in it tomorrow. First things first, this is the kitchen. Cute, cute, cute. I got this steamer, which is great because it's small. It works really well. I've already used it so much, but also you can use it as a pot too. And in here, which I haven't filled everything up yet. There's so much stuff that I need to still move in, but this is a cast iron skillet, which will be great for cooking eggs and such. And this just lights and then you put the lighter on it. We put in this, oh, it got scratched, this magnetic knife holder, which is very strong magnet if things need to be adjusted at some point we will adjust accordingly because in these types of situations things go flying everywhere you have to secure everything down every turn you make is like Ugh. so i know that there'll be some adjusting throughout the time but i'm trying my best before you know heading out to secure things as much as possible because i I'm very well acquainted with this lifestyle. We put in this little container for storage. I have a little tea ball thing and then I, I'll probably move this actually. And then the plates fit in perfect. We have these non-breakable plates. Everything that we're going to put in here is not going to be glass because that's a bad idea. This is a self-watering plant pot and I'm going to put some plants in. I have two of them, one in the kitchen and one in the dining room, living room. I don't know. We have the electricity on right now so we can run the water pump and the sink beautiful obviously we need baby wipes that is essential the spice rack get a little close-up of those i haven't filled them all up yet but gorgeous so these are magnetic very nice and strong magnets and you can put all your spices that you want in there and they will not fall off and they're all organized and that is the kitchen underneath here we have storage this is where we're putting in we secured another one of these things to here to put in our silverware and then this this is actually a dehumidifier thing but in here we just have some of our plates and stuff we'll organize this and put everything you know some aluminum foil plastic wrap look at this cup this is so fun i got this on my wish list and it keeps things hot or cold it's a nice thermos and like i said i don't want to get things that are glass so we can use that for coffee also i got a really cool coffee machine for my wish list that i will show you probably in the next video or something it's an espresso maker and it makes really nice coffee so i'm very grateful for that so this right here is the heater and i will demonstrate here is the heater just turn that on heat going i'm not going to leave that going too long because it's loud while i'm waiting for the extra loud heater to to uh, turn off i'll show you out here this porch light actually works cool right okay it's off now let's go see the dining room we have another plant pot over here self-watering so i'm gonna maybe put some succulents in or something we'll see and then we have these nice pillows and as you guys know from my other videos this is how the the um, back cushion turned out i put maps everywhere put it right here just you know gotta remember where you're at i also put up some map stuff here also this is the fridge i guess i should show this because it's part of the kitchen i'm oh sh whatever see this is what's gonna happen like all the time i just stuff stuff in here for now um i'm gonna bring some activated charcoal because that's good if you're bloated or if you uh, get food poisoning get sick whatever and then i contacted paper on that some blankets i redid all the covers for the seats so they're a nice color 
and then I put this this pillow didn't fit exactly how I wanted it to but I think it looks great here this is where I kind of like messed up the wall but whatever that'll be covered and I have my mirror right here so I can I'm gonna put more mirrors in around just so I, it looks bigger but I can put my makeup on here and things like that just come in here and I have my computer here do lots of work. We can, this table can be switched around for more leg space as well, but this works for me. I got Starlink. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. I want to show you guys this amazing table. This is like the highlight of the camper. It's made from an old barn door. It has been transformed into the perfect size table. I did not do this. A big purchase that I made was Starlink. The Starlink Mini, which is what was needed for this. There's really no way around it for me. You guys know my struggle with trying to get internet consistently, but it comes in this box and then it opens up to this. Quite simple. So this is the Starlink Mini. That's what it looks like. This is like $165 a month. And this Starlink was $600. Right here, these go outside. And we're just gonna, this is our basement. This is a toilet, just in case we need that. And we'll, we're gonna put the legs in right there. But here, it's really nice to have access to that. This is a rug that my sister actually made from sheep's wool. It's so nice and I'm so happy that she left it for me. Right here is, we're just gonna put the garbage can in here for now, there's just a garbage bag. And I will show you the table folds down into another bed. Out here is the same deal as the other one, outside storage. Our toolbox is in there. Fire extinguisher, little broom, floor rug. This goes to the front. As you can see, this is the fuse box. This is for the actual, this is for the actual fan. That's the heater. You can see, I have it open right now. Close. And we'll do air in. That is amazing that we have ventilation. I replaced this rug with this nice natural fiber rug. I think it looks more adventure. I was going for like an adventure theme. It kind of turned out a little 70s looking, but I don't mind it. I kind of, I quite like it. Let's look at the bedroom now. So over here is kind of a little nightstand. I have a speaker. This is the new carbon monoxide detector. And this is the new, it doesn't even look new because it's still eating up the, the teeth, which sucks. This is the new crank, but one really nice thing is when we replace the crank, this thing can now come in and out before it could not. And it, it does come up a little bit more. Got a little North America here. So this is the bed area. I have this nice cotton duvet cover and then some nice sheets up here, pillowcases. It's very comfortable. I got this memory foam mattress from my wish list, which is so comfortable. This is a nice, everything's nice, isn't it? It's a wool blanket. And this is the cushion that makes this into another bed, which I will show you. But first, let's cozy up into bed. Oh, and I didn't show you this, but we have this very fancy cutting board. And obviously I got my books. This, you can't really have too much on because when this bar comes down, you don't want anything to be smushed. Oh, love it. It's so cool. Mm, it's comfy. There's not a lot of headroom, of course, but it's to be expected. If there is any leaks, they're, they're, very, they're so minor that it's just, I'm just gonna say that it's done being a leaky camper. We have three lights that I changed out right here. And then the two over there, white. And then it turns to blue if you want a more calm vibey vibe. And then also these are dimmable so you can dim it out. But just to wake up in the morning and kind of look out, even if, you know, the plastic's a little dirty, just to kind of like immediately turn the heat on <laughs> so I can actually get out of bed, which is nice that it's right there. I don't have to get out of bed to turn the heat on. Two, I didn't put it up yet, but I'm gonna put it somewhere for like reading. Bed. So you see the full dinette, beautiful table. Little kitchen. I loved my little space. Pulled this thing up. Put that right there. You have a nice another bed. It's very comfortable. I like it. 
So what do you guys think? Comment below. Oh, I forgot to show you the blinds that I have. Look at this. So that's my home. <laughs> Happy Halloween, by the way. Let me show you my closet real quick. This is just, um, aside from the storage that I have, I have this closet, which I hang up some of these things. And then I have this, which is full of my clothes. So I just pull it out and sort through like socks, oops, socks, underwear, etc. I got this for a little jewelry box. That's the tour of my 2002 Sunlight Camper, completely renovated. So it's the next day and it took ages, ages to pack everything up into this thing. We also had to get the legs off, which was a terrible, terrible ordeal. We got the uh, tie downs on, we got the chain for the second tie down. So it's good to go. It is like 2.30 right now. Wanted to leave a lot earlier than that. But the next video is finally leaving. I'm so excited. Stay to Terrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.